Welcome back, Islanders. <laughs> so this is our last day in, Bul- in Bulgaria. <laughs> this is our last day in Romania. Mm-hmm. We check out of our Airbnb tomorrow at 11 in the morning. And we think we're going to Bulgaria next. That's the plan. Mm-hmm. As of right now, we haven't booked any Airbnb yet. We haven't booked our transportation there. We have two options. We have the option to take the bus or the option to take the train. The bus is like six hours. It's an overnight bus. So from like... 11 30 12 in the night to 6 in the morning mm-hmm. for like 20 euros and the train is like 14 hours um for like 30 euros based on what i saw online it could be different when you get to the train station so right now we're gonna um go into old town explore for the last time um try some food we didn't try or show you all some food that we didn't show you all based on like what their street food is We'll get that in Old Town, but before we go there, we'll go and make our appointment to take our test tomorrow. The antigen test only takes 15 minutes, so we'll take that tomorrow just in case because we don't know how long. I think we have 48 hours. Yeah, so it has to be 48 hours old by the time we get to Bulgaria, if we end up going to Bulgaria. So we'll take it tomorrow just in case. Um, Yeah. I think that's about it. You have anything to say? <laughs> no. So we take them to Old Town with us, explore for the last time, show you the last bit of sights, eat it's the last really, bit of food. It's really hot today. Yeah, it's so, 95 degrees. That. And it's, it's it says it feels like 99. Yeah. And when we went to the food store yesterday, it was very humid. Mm-hmm. So I had on a different shirt. I just changed into a t-shirt because it's too hot for all of that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we'll take y'all along with us, show what we get up to, and y'all can enjoy our last day here with us. popular takeaway um, spot right here by the metro um, where they have like pizza uh, sandwiches and other treats you got a Corvry Luca it's basically like a hot dog and a pretzel bun almost yeah some places also call it Corvry dog and then this one is uh, Corvry I think it's Corvry G Corvry G so <laughs> yeah. it's a uh, Romanian style pretzel with sesame seeds and they just um it's just a different recipe and preparation yeah so we had the we had the curry dog before but we never had the curry g mm-hmm. so excited to see how it tastes i'm gonna try the curry g it's pretty affordable it was like a couple couple lay right mm. so like a couple cents we we'll put the price on the screen but it's nice and soft and warm the ones in the food store usually kind of old and hard yeah i think this one just came out of oven mm. So very similar to a pretzel but it's not boiled first i think they just bake it nice and fresh and i'll try the cobbly dog it's good
You can see the dog in there. I didn't get a piece of it yet. I swim. So nice treat to grab when you on the go. Kind of like street food. So we just left the cafe. It's Christian. pretty nice in there. Yeah, the cafe is really nice and the service was great. Yeah. And that was a bit and that was a bit warm, but outside today is extremely it's hot. hot. Yeah. It's like a day in Nassau. <laughs> For real. If, if you know, you know. Yeah. Like the sunny and scorching, but it's like super humid and just I feel like no, someone breathing on your back. No breeze blowing. Yeah, and if it blowing, it's like that hot air. Yeah. But yeah, we head into our favorite cafe. I mean our favorite restaurant called arcade cafe y'all would have seen it in our last food video i think um but yeah gonna get some food and then we may go to the passageway i don't want to butcher the name so i won't say it but y'all will see it if we end up going now so we came to our favorite um restaurant hell that we found so far we're actually at an undisclosed location <laughs> we're in the hidden garden right now outside and it's pretty cool in the back here i don't know what they did but the minute we walk in the back here it was Cool. So they have something coming out of these vents. Yeah, they see. Yeah. But yeah, happy to be here. We got I got the ribs that we got last time and Darian got the sea bream and yeah, we'll just share off both of them. It, the sea bream comes with the um, tagliatelle and mussels. But instead of the tagliatelle I got uh rigatoni, the rigatoni. and cream sauce. Yeah. So So hopefully uh, that tastes good. Yeah, I'm after sure this well. after this we'll probably just go to the passageway and um probably head home. Yeah. I don't think we'll end up going to the monastery. It's hot. I doubt it. Yeah. yeah I don't think, see that. Yeah. It's pretty, but we don't really like to go to the main tourist locations. They don't really do much for us. Especially if it's a place like a monastery. Yeah. Yeah. We may go to like every other one, but not like in every city That's we go to. Yeah. So, because y'all will probably see that in every Romanian video y'all watch. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But we still went to some touristy places today, like we went to the library and then we go into the passageway after this probably. So, yeah, we'd like to have a little mix of tourists and then just chill off the beaten path locations. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this Romanian 
series we did. Yeah. We still have some videos to come out after you all see this one. And those will be more like scripted videos in a way. Yeah. So, yeah. Want to mess? Yeah. So I got a pair of cider and Darian got a, um, a bear. Cheers, lovey. Cheers. The food just came out. Um, that's a slaw that came with the uh, marinated ribs, and then that's the sea bream with tagliatelle and mussels. Can't wait to dig into this. So we came to Passage Rue Falacross. I think that's how it's pronounced, but I yeah. put the name on the screen. Uh -huh. It's like a touristy area and it's it has cafes, a few restaurants, but outside all the cafes is like hookah. Mm -hmm. So we got um Darian got a drink. You can tell them what you got. I got a I got a Desirono and orange juice. Yeah, and we got a hookah. So this will be my second time trying hookah. Um I tried it in Miami when we went. That was like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Like a month and a half ago. So we yeah. put that vlog in the cards when we tried it with our friends and my mommy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, we got the peach and... Grape. Yeah, you recommended the grape. grape. So first you recommended mint, but I didn't want the mint. Yeah. So we just said a peach and grape combo. Yeah. And um, for those of you who don't know, the Serono, the Serono is just like amaretto. So when you order amaretto sour, it's the Serono. Mm -hmm. I haven't had this in... I haven't had this in years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it came. It was only like seven dollars yeah. for the hookah. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. We couldn't do hookah in Turkey. That on our wish list. Doing yeah. shisha in Turkey because you know it's a big thing in Turkey. Yeah. But yeah, just wanted to update y'all. After this, I think we'll go to the grocery store to get um, some footage for our cost of living video that we'll film when we leave tomorrow, and then um, we'll go home. You should have been yeah. <laughs> it's just like the one in Miami. For those of you who haven't done hookah before, it's just like it tastes like water and like fruit vapors. That's all it tastes like. Hey guys, so I finally back home after a long eventful day. Yeah, um, and we also just found out that we can leave our luggage here tomorrow mm -hmm. while we explore. That's if we take the bus. So yeah. we'll decide now. We'll probably try and find an Airbnb now and try to figure out if we're taking a bus or if we're taking the train. Mm -hmm. And if we take the bus, we could leave our bikes and explore for another day tomorrow. Yeah. And if we take the train, we'll just leave early in the day. Because I think the train would leave somewhere in the daytime so yeah um we'll probably end this vlog here unless we end up showing y'all our process of trying to find where we're going to next because mm -hmm. we still love it set in stone mm -hmm. um but other than that i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure mm -hmm. to like comment and subscribe yeah we're on a road to a thousand subscribers yes. and yeah if you like our videos continue to show your support by sharing the videos um liking the videos and interacting in the comment section yeah we like to talk to y'all in the comments so thanks for being here with us see y'all on the next one see ya Bye.